Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of a series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of my series on math, so we're going to talk about PEMDAS. So, before we do that, there's actually a request right here. Where is it? Ayan. So, someone sent me a message. So, pabati daw. Sa, from Samar, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, sorry, Bulol. Rodrigo Bohol Jr. Hi! Ano bang tawag sa'yo? JR Jr. Uh, Rodrigo Bohol Jr., thank you for uh, your message. And ito na yung pabati sa inyo. If you want me to greet you on my next video, feel free to message me, email me, or post a comment below. Um, and uh, this video, like I said, is going to talk about PEMDAS. Yung PEMDAS is, ano, basic ma concept yan, pero the fact of the matter is a lot of people already forget uh, yung mga math concepts na yan as soon as makagraduate sila. So, kung if you already forgot how to answer yung gayo klaseng type ng question, I would love to teach you in this video. This is also a part of our fundamentals kasi hindi tayo makamove on sa complex algebraic Alam niyo yun, mga equations like that until hindi solid, hanggat hindi solid sa inyo yung PEMDAS. So, pag-usapan natin yan ngayon. If you have a copy of the workbook, PEMDAS is on page 7. Okay. So again, if you want a copy of the workbook, feel free to message me on my channel, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika, so you can ask me how to get one. Page 7, this is how it looks like. We are going to answer solve these with me. This is the ask. So if you have a workbook, follow along. If you don't, it's okay. For free naman yan. So I'll let me explain to you kung uh, paano siya ang solution na. So I'm going to switch over to my PC right now so I can show you better and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so like I said, we're going to talk about yung fundamentals natin, PEMDAS. Uh, for those of you who are not yet familiar with the concept, ang concept ng PEMDAS is basically ang order of operations na tinatawag natin. Ang order of operations, ibig sabihin, kung ang isang tanong ay may multiple na operations, meron siyang addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, ito yung order na gagamitin ninyo sa pag-solve sa kanya para makuha ninyo yung tamang sagot. The order goes like this. Ang una ninyong isosolve ay if merong parenthesis. Okay? May parenthesis or group. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kung merong ganitong itsura, 2 plus 3 plus 5, uunahin ninyo yung 2 plus 3 bago mo i-add ng 5. So, you have 5 plus 5. It's very important kasi kung uh, may mga times, lalo na kung magkaiba ng operations, nag-iiba ang sagot. For example, 2 plus 3 times 5, okay, would be 5 times 5 or 25. Pero kung ililipat natin yung parenthesis at gagawin natin 2 plus 3 times 5, this would be 15, kasi unahin mo yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, plus 2, this would only be 17. Kaya, Yan, ang malaki ang difference, kaya kailangan alam ninyo kung ano yung unahin ninyo. This is the question, type of question din, kadalasan na uh, ang mga tao, pag careless kayo, magkakamali kayo dito. And most of the time, if, you, if the test uh, uh, developer, kung yung gumawa ng test is like me, uh, ang, gagabi, ang lalabas ng mga options are those na kung may magkakamali kayo na kahit isang beses lang, ay lalabas din dun yung sagot ninyo. Ibig sabihin, akala ninyo tama kayo kasi nandun sa options, pero mali pala. If you own yung practice test uh, booklets natin, and uh, you would notice that if nagkamali kayo kahit dun sa inuna nyo lang yung addition instead of the multiplication, yung mga ganong klaseng mistakes, uh, yung, yung nasa option pa rin yung sagot, so you wouldn't um, notice na mali kayo until i-check ninyo siya. The reason why I did, I did that is because I want you to understand yung importance ng PEMDAS. Okay, so number one, ang first ninyo sa solve, parenthesis kung meron. Second na solve ninyo is exponents kung meron. Okay, so uh, parenthesis and then exponents. Ang uh, exponents is again yung a, tas may square na ganyan, mayroong elevated na number like that. So if you haven't seen yung explainer natin on exponents, you can click right here dito sa taas, dun sa i na button there, uh, the link to the video will pop up right there. Panoorin nyo yun para matuto kayo kung paano mag-solve ng exponents, okay? Third uh, step uh, na gagawin niyo is yung multiplication and division. Okay? Bakit, um, yan, bakit sila magkatabi? Kasi either way, pwede. Ibig sabihin, kung merong multiplication at division, kahit unahin yung multiplication, okay lang din. Unahin yung division, okay lang din. Uh, interchangeable siya. Okay? Ang importante lang is that yung multiplication division, uunahin nyo siya doon sa pang-apat, which is addition, addition, and subtraction. 
Okay? Ano ibig sabihin? Kung kunyari merong multiplication uh, and on the same uh, question, merong addition, unahin nyo siya. A uh, good example would be like this, 2 plus 3 uh, times 5. Okay? Ang unahin ninyo is yung, uh, instead of yung 2 plus 3, kahit ito yung nasa left side, ibig sabihin pag binasa nyo siya, kadalasa yung una natin yung the way we read it, ibig sabihin 2 plus 3, 5 times 5. That is wrong. Again, PEMDAS kasi kailangan mauna yung multiplication. So, unahin ninyo yung 3 times 5. So, 15, 17 ang sagot. Okay? That is how it works. Ngayon, there's no better way for me to show you that than yung pakita sa inyo kung paano talaga siya isolve. So, if you have a copy of workbook number 1, uh, ito yung, ito yung ganito itsura ng workbook natin, you go to page 7 to follow along. Do sa solve these with me, do natin kukunin yung example natin for this discussion, Okay? So, solve these with me, number 1. Ito yung number 1 natin. Ano ang gagawin natin? Again, like we said, PEMDAS. Okay? So, unang tanong, meron bang parenthesis? Yes, meron tayong 4 plus 3. Ang style ninyo when you're solving problems like this is, uh, iwasan ninyo yung mag uh, rewrite kasi kadalasan na iiwan yung ibang parts pag nag rewrite kayo. And be very careful, Okay? Use parenthesis, magdagdag kayo sa sarili na yung parenthesis if necessary. So, you have here, parenthesis is 4 plus 3. Ibig sabihin, kahit addition siya at nasa dulo yung addition, unahin nyo pa rin siya. So, we have 7. And then, i-retain natin yung parenthesis just for uh, reference para mas malinaw lang. Plus 9. Okay, so 9 plus 6 times 7 squared. Next, exponent. Meron ba tayong exponent? Yes, ito yon. So, unahin natin siya. Kukopyahin nyo lang yung iba na hindi nyo pa ginagalaw. And then, 7 times 7, kasi 7 squared siya. That is 49. Okay? So, 7, uh, itong 49 na to, ano nang gagawin natin next? We have plus and then multiplication. Sabi, unahin natin yung multiplication and division. Meron ka multiplication, edi itong unahin natin. We have 6 times uh, 49. So, 49 times 6, you can do it like this, or 49 times 5 na lang, and then plus isa pang 49. So, that would be 24, 5, plus isa pang 49, you have uh, 4, 9, 2, 2, 9, 4. Okay, so that is my method when I multiply. Uh, check na rin natin para sure. So, you have 54, 5, uh, 6, 12, 18, 6, 12, 18, 24, 9. Oh, yan. So, tama ako. Mas mabilis lang yung method that I use. This is basically times 5 and then times 1. I-add mo lang siya. Okay? So, kung mabilis kayo mag-add, you can do it my way kasi that's how, do, how I do it. So, you have 9. 9 plus 2, 9, 4. The answer would be uh, 300 and... Okay? 3. Okay? So, yun yung sagot sa number 1 as all these with me. Again, you have to keep in mind yung PEMDAS natin. Una yung parenthesis. Kung wala, move on to exponent. Kung tapos ka na, move on to multiplication division. And then, you finally move on to addition and subtraction. Let's try this other one. Okay? Sabi, uh, 10 minus 6. Tapos yung quantity na yun, squared. Plus 3 minus 3 squared. So, again, PEMDAS rules apply. You start with the parenthesis. Meron bang parenthesis? Yes. So, ito yun. So, 10 minus 6 is 4 squared plus 3 minus 3 squared. Tapos, meron ka bang exponents? Yes. You have this and this. So, uunahin natin siya. You have 4 times 4. That would be 16 plus 3. Ngayon, ito yung uh, gusto kong mag-pay kayo ng close attention to. This is why I included this in uh, the examples. I want to explain better kung paano nyo ito gagawin. Common mistake is people would say, ah, okay, negative 3 times negative 3 ito. Okay? Kasi daw negative 3 squared. That, that is actually wrong. Bakit? Kasi, mangyayari lang ito na ang isi-square nyo is negative 3 if ang nakalagay dyan is negative 3 and then may parenthesis bago square. Bakit? Kasi itong minus na yan, diba, sabi natin, mauuna ang exponent kesa sa subtraction. Okay? So, yung mauuna ang exponent, sila muna bago yung subtraction. So, yung minus mo is 3 squared. So, you have minus 9. Okay? Again, I want you to understand that kasi marami nagkakamali dyan. Kasi pag ginawa nyo, ginawa nyo ito, ang, mag, ang lalabas is plus, plus 9. And malaki ang difference doon sa sagot. So, this should be um, minus 9. So, 16 okay, plus 3 minus 9. Again, Addition and subtraction naman siya, interchangeable, kahit anong gusto niyong unahin. Uh, so, you have 16 plus 3, 19 minus 9. The answer to this is 
10. Okay? Number 3. Alright, so we're raising the bar here. Um, if you see very strict ako when it comes to yung brackets natin, I, uh, ako, personally, ang preference ko is I start with itong regular na parenthesis, itong uh, brackets natin, itong, uh, itong ganitong klaseng bracket. Um, bakit ko siya iniiba-iba? Kasi you have to understand kung ano pa rin yung mas, may hierarchy ng bracket. Ibig sabihin, mauuna yung regular parenthesis bago siya, bago siya. Kasi uh, ganyan ako, lalo na kung kailangan kung na ako ang maglagay ng sarili kong bracket doon sa question. Kasi para lang mas malinaw sa akin visually. Yung iba kasi ang ginagawa nila, lahat parenthesis, as in ganyan, ganyan lahat. Eh ngayon, hindi mo na alam kung ano yung unahin mo. Mas organized, okay, malinaw sa mata if you do it like this. Kasi alam mo kung ano yung kasunod ng alin. Okay, pagtapos ka na dito, pwede ka na dito, pwede ka na dito. Okay, that's just me. Again, suggestion ko yun sa inyo para hindi kayo masyado maguluhan. Okay, so, you have this. Negative 3 squared plus 9. Okay, and then you have times negative 3. Close natin yan, and then minus 4. Okay, see that? Kita-kita mo yung ano yung unahin ninyo. Again, call back to dun sa ginawa natin kanina. Kanina ang nakalagay is minus 3 squared. Hindi sabihin, sabi natin, yung square didikit siya sa 3, hiwalay dun sa minus. Pero dito, yung minus 3, buong siya ang naka-parenthesis. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito is no longer uh, 3 times 3, tapos ilalagay mo yung negative after. The answer to this question is, yung negative 3, imumultiply mo na ng negative 3. So, the answer here would be plus 9. So, positive 9 na siya, plus isa pang 9, okay, ito yung bracket natin, times negative 3, okay, minus 4. So, you have 18 times negative 3, okay, palitan na natin yung bracket kasi onti na lang sila, minus 4, okay, so you have uh, 18 times negative 3, okay, you can do it traditionally like that. Unang tanong, dahil pareho silang, uh, hindi sila pareho ng sign, positive to, negative to, the answer would be a negative. So, dito na lang yung problema natin. You can do it old school or uh, pwede yung mental na 45 kasi ang 15 times 3. Tapos plus, plus, tatlo pang 3 kasi yun ang sobra dito sa 18. So, you have 45 plus 9 which is 54. Okay? Or check nyo din dito, 18, 24, 2, 3, 5. So, same method lang din. Whatever works faster for you. In my case, so bilis itong ganito. So, that's what I do. So, negative 54 minus 4. Okay? So, uh, when we are adding or subtracting uh, integers, so minus 54, minus 4 is actually minus 54 plus negative 4. So, ang mangyayari would be negative 58. That is the answer. Okay? Ayon. For these last two, I want you to try it out for yourself. And then, I'm just going to give you the final answer. If you did not get the final answer, that is your opportunity to uh, keep trying until you get it right, okay? So, I'm going to give you time. I'm going to ask you to hit pause now. I pause nyo muna yung video. Alright, so I hope you tried it out for yourself. Uh, there are people who, alam nyo, just watch the videos na parang, alam nyo, akala nila nakukuha na nila. Uh, the thing with uh, review is this. There are times na yung parang confident kayo kasi you can hear my voice. Minuwalk through ko kayo dun sa ginagawa ninyo. Pero ang goal natin is that pagdating sa exam, kahit mag-isa na lang kayo, alam ninyo kung ano yung gagawin ninyo. That is why I ask you to try it out for yourself. Practice, okay, builds confidence. The only way for you to be more confident about taking the exam is if you actually practice yourself. So that's why I do this, alright? I'm going to give you the answer. So number four, the correct answer is 50. If you got it right, good for you. If not, hit pause again. Try it again until you get the answer 50, okay? So you can hit pause now. Okay, so if you got uh, it right na, kung 50 na sagot ninyo, congratulations, you can move on to the next one. Number 5, the correct answer here is 12. Uh, okay, so again, if you got the correct answer here, that is good. If you, ha if you didn't, I want you to keep trying until you get it right. Okay? Okay, so I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please click thumbs up. That would help me know na nakakatulong talaga yung mga ngayon klaseng videos sa inyo. If you have requests of other types of videos that you want to learn, 
comment below or send a message to me on my Facebook page. Click here to subscribe para maklama niyo as soon as a new video post. There are more coming up. Inuuna ko lang to kasi ito yung fundamental. Uh, susunod na natin yung mga yung algebra, polynomials, and of course yung number series na nire-request niyo yung lahat. Click here to know yung uh, to watch the playlist of all the other videos already posted. And I hope that um, you practice. Okay? Kasi importante sa inyo uh, to practice para masolidify sa inyo yung concept. Okay? So, God bless the exam that you're going to take, whether it's UPCAT, LAE, or uh, civil service, whatever that is. God bless sa'yo. Keep learning, keep believing, keep praying, and I hope that you learn a lot and keep learning more. So, see you on my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.